All right, here we go. You see my iPod Touch. Um, little circuit board over here. I have a light sensor in the back and an LED in the front. Uh, I'm going to show the LED first and then uh, the next little thing I'm going to show you is a separate thing with the light sensor. And they're wired up to the Arduino here. And um, you see that uh, it has LED 1, 2, 3. It's actually all the same LED. It's just a multicolored LED. Um, and so um, LED one, it says it's off, LED two is off, and LED three is off. So let's turn the first one on, and we will get green light. Oops, I hit it twice. Um, green light. Uh, and you see it says on. Uh, so we'll turn that off. Turn it off. And um, I'm going to turn the next one on, which is LED two is red. Okay. And I'm going to turn it off. Oops, I hit it twice again. It's hard to film and um, look at the screen and turn it on and off, but uh, it works. Um, and so now I'm going to turn on the blue LED 3. All right. So if I, uh, it's a multicolored LED, so I can turn on another one. So. Uh, if I turn on uh, red with that, it will make uh, purple. All right. And if I turn on the last green one, it will make white light. All right. So turn them off. Turn them off. And turn it off. All right. Next, I'll show you the light meter analog sensor. All right, here we go. The Arduino is now set up. Uh, we have analog coming in. Um, you see it's uh, updating Safari as fast as I can. Um, uh, just an auto refresh there. And uh, the ambient brightness in the room right now is 15, the way the sensor is configured. Uh, and so if I uh, cover it, it says brightness is 2 or 1. Um, let the light back in. Uh, if I go ahead and shine a flashlight on it, we get varying numbers. This flashlight's kind of flickery, so that's why the numbers are going up and down there. It's a steady on now. Um, but depending on how I hold it, it affects the, uh, the analog value. There's the ambient and light. And uh, this is going over the Wi-Fi uh, sensor, uh, the Wi-Fi shield on the Arduino. It's going straight to the iPod Touch. Uh, no wires attached other than um, I'm just using the 5 volt power supply for the Arduino uh, from the USB. But other than that, totally wireless on everything and um, it works. So we got analog signals going in and we got control as I showed you going to the LED. Um, so we can uh, control the Arduino with our wireless device. All right, thanks.